You may have heard of spontaneous combustion, but the phenomenon of animals literally exploding is less well known. Some creatures purposefully detonate as a suicidal defense mechanism to protect other members of their colony, while others explode after death with catastrophically messy results. There have even been occasions where humans have used hapless animals as bombs during warfare. Here's our roundup of the most noteworthy cases of exploding animals, including humans, throughout history. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Let's begin. Number 9. Germany's Bursting Toads Hamburg is often known as an idyllic port city of book publishers and media giants. Lately, however, the city's peace and quiet has been interrupted by a sickening natural oddity. Over 1,000 of the city's greenish-brown toads have swelled up to almost four times their normal size and then, bang, exploded, sending horrific entrails and body parts several feet into the pristine air. Stunned residents have nicknamed their city's once bucolic lake the Pond of Death, and officials have cordoned off the area for investigation. Vets and animal welfare agencies have spent days puzzling over the deeply troubling and downright disgusting mystery. Is it a fungus? Is it a virus? Are the toads simply suicidal? All the speculation was finally put to rest when Frank Muchman, one of Germany's top experts on amphibians, cracked the case. And the explanation was even more shocking than the toads' violent deaths. The massacre was, apparently, the work of a highly intelligent species of crows. Frank examined both living and dead specimens of the Hamburg toads. What he found was truly chilling. Identically circular incisions on their backs, just the size of a bird's beak. He also figured out that all the amphibians had their livers missing. There was no bite or scratch marks, so we knew the toads weren't being attacked by a raccoon or a rat, which would have also eaten the entire toad, Frank said. It was clearly the work of crows, which are clever enough to know the toad's skin is toxic and realize the liver is the only part worth eating. Only once the liver is gone does the toad realize it's being attacked. It puffs itself up as a natural defense mechanism. But since it doesn't have a diaphragm or ribs, without the liver there's nothing to hold the rest of its organs in. The lungs stretch out of all proportion and rip. The rest of the organs simply expel themselves. Number 8. Self-Sacrificing Ants the aptly named Colobopsis explodens ants, native to Borneo, have a rather drastic way of dealing with predators. These small reddish ants lack usual defense mechanisms such as stings, but have a far more explosive weapon in their arsenal. When Colobopsis explodens detect a threat, they give out a warning by showing the enemy their rumps. If this doesn't work, the ants clamp down on the predator with their jaws and tighten their abdomens until they blow up releasing a poisonous yellow fluid with an unusual curry-like scent. While this method of defense is fatal for the individuals involved, their self-sacrifice protects the rest of the colony from being devoured. Number 7. Detonating Whales When a whale dies and starts decomposing, methane and other gases accumulate in the body of the whale. The buildup of pressure plus the disintegration of the whale's flesh could cause the whole body to explode. That's exactly what happened in Taiwan in 2004. The local residents learned a lesson in whale biology after the decomposing remains of a 60-ton sperm whale exploded on a busy street, showering nearby cars and shops with blood and organs and stopping traffic for hours. The 56-foot long whale had been on a truck headed for a necropsy by researchers when gases from internal decay caused its entrails to explode in the southern city of Tainan. Residents and shop owners wore masks while trying to clean up the spilt blood and entrails. Number 6. Obliterating Animal Carcasses with Explosives If you thought that Oregon's whale explosion was a one-off, you wouldn't be entirely correct. Exploding animal carcasses as a means of disposal is actually reasonably common in the USA. In fact, the United States Department of Agriculture Forest Service has its own guide on how to blast large animal carcasses such as horses, mules and moose to oblivion, aptly named Obliterating Animal Carcasses with Explosives. It was written by Jim Tor and Mike Nodal, who was the rather unusual job title of Region Blaster Examiner. The guide details how to place explosives in various locations under the carcass to achieve either dispersal or total animal obliteration, depending on the end result you're going for. It reminds readers to always consult a qualified blaster before blowing up any large dead animals you may have lying around. Number 5. Rat Bombs these vermin were more valuable dead than alive. 
During the Second World War, Allied forces attempted to sabotage German factories by stuffing dead rats with explosive charges. The idea was that a German worker would see the dead rat and scoop it into the boiler fire for disposal. This small explosive charge would then lead to a much larger boiler explosion, decimating the entire factory. The Nazis grew wise to the plan when they intercepted the first shipment. Although the plan was never fully executed, due to the resources wasted by Germans in checking all future dead rats, it was considered a success. Number 4. Bat Bomb I wasn't sure if this story is more comedy or actual history. Maybe it's a bit of both. The one thing I can tell you, though, is that no matter how crazy it sounds, it's true. On December 7, 1941, Little Adams, a dentist, was spending his vacation in Carlsbad Cavern and was struck by the number and abilities of the bats he saw in the cave. Later that day, Adams heard an announcement over his radio. Pearl Harbor had been bombed by the Japanese. As the shock and rage began to settle a bit in his mind, he had an idea how to strike back. Of course, the idea involved bats. Adams thought of sticking incendiary devices to the bats and releasing them above a Japanese city. In daylight, the bats would look for a place to hide. They'd hide in attics and eaves of buildings. When the devices on the bats were triggered, boom, the city would go up in flames. Perhaps surprisingly, his plan was developed by the National Research Defense Committee, who gathered a team of experts in to explore the idea further. Having decided to use Mexican free-tailed bats, they designed a tiny bomb for the creatures to carry. However, it turned out that bombing a city using bats was fraught with difficulty. For one thing, the bats had to be cooled and transported on ice to keep them in a state of hibernation. A special container also has to be designed to release the bats in mid-air. During a test run, some of the bats were let loose by accident, which led to an air hangar catching fire. In the end, the project was abandoned, although a total of $2 million was spent on developing the exploding bats. Number 3. Explosive Termite Backpacks In the rainforests of French Guyana lives a species of termites that defend their colony by blowing themselves up in the face of their enemies. The Neocapratermus taracua species carry a sack of poisonous blue fluids on their backs dubbed as explosive backpacks. These gradually fill with toxic crystals throughout the course of the animal's life, which means that the oldest individuals have the largest backpacks and are therefore the most lethal. While older termites aren't so good at performing jobs for the colony, such as foraging for food, they come into their own when they're under attack. When a predator threatens the colony, elderly termites explode their backpacks in their direction showering them with toxic blue liquid. Their self-sacrifice protects the community, while the younger, healthier members maintain the colony. Number 2. Cow Methane Explosion While we've seen a lot of animals that blow themselves up, the strange occurrence in Germany proves that gassy cows can cause whole buildings to blow up en masse. In 2014, a group of flatulent cows caused a cow shed in Rastorf, Germany, to explode. The 90 cows, each of which produces up to 500 litres of methane gas every single day, caused dangerously high levels to build up inside the building. This ignited because of a static electricity charge, causing an explosion and flames. The blast damaged the roof and injured some of the unfortunate bovines, who had to be treated for burns. Scientists are trying to find ways to stop cows from belching out such high levels of methane. Livestock farming is thought to produce 14% of all greenhouse emissions caused by humans, and methane is one of the most harmful to the planet as it traps around 25% more heat than carbon dioxide. The Ag Research Institute in New Zealand is attempting to combat this problem by developing a vaccine against the microbes that live in cows' guts and produce methane. If the experiment succeeds, it could be a useful weapon in the battle against climate change and prevent any more cow-related barn explosions. Number 1. Oregon Whale Explosion on November the 12th, 1970, the Oregon Department of Transportation blew up a dead whale that had washed up on a Florence beach. In what was called a controlled explosion, they used a half ton of dynamite. It didn't go well. Chunks of dead whale blubber ended up all over both bystanders and the beach, flying out as far as a nearby parking lot where the flying flesh severely damaged at least one car. The decision to publicly dynamite an enormous mammal has become one of Oregon's all-time most bizarre moments. Luckily, local news anchor Paul Linman was on the scene, creating one of the state's most memorable evening news segments, which KATU recently rebroadcast. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.